Elon Musk has just told Sandy Munro when the Model 2 will be built. He's also told him some other interesting information, such as where it will be built, how it will be, will be built, and he's also revealed that um, he is currently looking at all the plans for the Model 2, as in going over everything on a pretty much day-by-day -day basis. Apparently, this is the most important vehicle in Tesla's history, according to Elon Musk. And Sandy Munro, I think he did a really good job in trying to get more information out of Musk about the future of Tesla and about what it's up to. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Uh, great to see this. I love Sandy. And I think um, even though some people critique him, I think he's, I, honest, I genuinely think Sandy Munro is a huge asset to the community. We're very lucky to have his his knowledge and the fact he tears down cars. Who else is doing that in the way that he does it? Or at least his he and his team are doing it anyway. So what do we know? Well, despite the Cybertruck launch, the truth is the most important car in the history of Tesla is the Tesla Model 2. Now, Munro and Elon talked about the new 48 volt low voltage architecture that made the Cybertruck's most impressive feature, without a question, the steer by wire system possible. But Sandy was, well, he's fascinated by the Cybertruck. He thinks it's an amazing vehicle and I agree with him. But he wanted to know about the Model 2 and he pushed Musk on the issue. There's the other guys that are also uh, dying to get a Tesla, the $25,000 Tesla. And so I'm wondering where where is that exactly? Where where are you with that? Yeah, unfortunately, because we're a publicly traded company, I cannot comment on things that would have uh, a material impact on our financials. Uh, OK, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, I, um, I'm hoping that that's not too far down the line. I really, really would like to see something where we can, um, where like this one here, I'm told that uh, the one that, the, I, I'm looking for the beast, the tri-motor and everything. Yeah. And, um, and I'd like to get two of those. And that vehicle is like a hundred plus grand. I think that, I think that that's the right price for this. But it's not the right price for the for the kid that wants to take one to uh, college or whatnot. So that's why I'm I'm kind of anxious to find out what what it is that can be done for those uh, others that uh, that want to get into electrification but can't. So if we can't do that, then let me shift gears. And what do you think about well, the I mean, new? I can say a little oh. bit. I just can't tell you, you know, unit volume and dates because that yeah. has a mass. Uh, that then that is a. Uh, that is projecting the financials. Yeah. Um, so we obviously are we are working on a low cost electric vehicle that will be made in very high volume. Um, we're I mean, quite far advanced in that work. The you know I review the the, the production line plans for that every week, um, and I think the 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 revolution in manufacturing that will be represented by that car uh, will blow people's minds. It is not like any car production line that anyone's ever seen. Now, I made up this Model 2 idea. I called it the Model 2. Other people called it the Model 2 as well. It seems to be sticking. So we'll see what happens there. Elon was careful not to share the actual sales numbers, but he did suggest, well, he did say a confirmed production is the beginning of 2026. So unfortunately, we're still looking at two years until the Model 2 comes to full production. In the meantime, we're gonna to have to make do with Tesla's existing portfolio, like upgraded versions, the new Model Y Juniper, the new Model 3 Highland, etc. So we've got two years to wait, unfortunately. But Elon Musk did say that it's gonna be a completely revolutionary vehicle, they're gonna make it in a different way than what they've made anything else in the past. And this, this does excite me. I love this idea of manufacturing things in a completely new way, mega casting instead of gear casting. I mean, why not just go bigger? Elon Musk confirmed he is reviewing Model 2 production plans on a weekly basis since Tesla's $25,000 car will be built at Giga Texas. Uh, that, that we will be making, that the, the, the first production line will be here in the Giga factory in Texas, in, 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 this, in this facility. Oh, I thought it was gonna be in Mexico or something. That'll be the second place. Hmm. Wow, that's way cool. It would take too long to complete the factory in Mexico. The reason being, he says, Gigafactory of Mexico, it's gonna to take too long. So if they wait for that factory to be built and for everything to be sort of working over there for all the Chinese suppliers to be set up, to be setting up shop nearby in Mexico, which is happening, 
then it'll take too long. So Elon's saying, no, 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 we're gonna make it happen in Texas first, and then we'll start building them in Mexico. Makes sense. Model 2 release date, like I said, is early 2026, first quarter, but Elon said they're hoping for sort of possibly even the fourth quarter of 2025. That would be good. Now Musk said the, the Model 2 will use some of the same, basically, manufacturing tech, techniques that Tesla uses for the Model Y. Of course, like evolutions of gigacasting, the structural battery packs, and all, also lithium iron phosphate batteries. Most likely though, version two batteries that can handle the cold much better than existing LFP batteries in Tesla's current vehicles. Elon Musk is so proud of the Model 2's assembly process, which it sounds like it's quite advanced for this, him to be saying this, but Tesla has come up with what he claimed several times during the interview is the most interesting part about the upcoming $25,000 Tesla. He said this, we are obviously working on a low cost vehicle that we made in very high volumes. The revolution in manufacturing that will be represented by that car will blow people's minds. I think he might be trying to make as much of the car in one piece as possible. It is not like any car production line anyone's ever seen. It will showcase a level of production technology that is far in advance of any automotive plant on earth. Maybe the automotive plant will be staffed by robots instead of humans, I've got no idea. I mean, that would obviously save Tesla a lot of money. Um, I'm sure robots would um, not want to unionize, so they wouldn't have to contend with those issues. But anyway, so Tesla have said a few times now that they plan to produce up to 4 million Model 2 vehicles per year. 4 million per year. They're saying that they're going to make twice as many Model 2s as they do Model 3, Model Y, Model S, and Model X combined, eventually. So that would mean ramping to, yeah, many, many millions which is why I believe the Model 2 is not one car. In fact, I'm convinced it's not one car. It's at least two different cars, maybe even more than that, but at least two, meaning maybe a hatchback and a, an SUV, possibly, obviously a smaller SUV than the Model Y, but something a little bigger than a hatchback. So I think it'll be two different vehicles, possibly even more than that. And it's said to cost around twenty two to $25,000 before subsidies. Tesla will make it in Mexico. The vehicle should therefore qualify for US subsidies. If it does, it would cost, let's say it costs 25,000 guys and it qualified for all the subsidies. That would mean you'd get one for $17,500. It's sort of insane to think that, right? But to be fair, the Model 3 today, you can get them for 35,000 in US or whatever. Think about 34,000. Meaning in theory, they're only about 27,000 for a Model 3. That's also ridiculously cheap. The battery pack is said to be a 53 kilowatt hour LFP battery, which given its lighter weight, could potentially give the Model 2 300 miles of range. But here's the thing, it won't be today's existing LFP batteries. It'll be the kind of evolutionary version of LFP that CATL has revealed recently. Those LFP batteries are way better than the batteries in Tesla's cars today. They're way better in terms of cold weather performance charging speed they can charge way faster energy density they're a little bit higher energy density lots of improvements on those batteries so those are going to be the batteries that will be in the model 2 i think it'll be an amazing car when you think about it tesla's had a lot of experience now with ev manufacturing they do it very well and that's underrated making evs right mass producing evs is not easy tesla obviously think they've mastered a much better way to make a vehicle. And considering they're very good at it now, I'm just intrigued to see what it's all about. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.